Actually, I haven't said this on camera yet, but last week we had the certificates back because we have legally trademarked the phrase Scrap King and Scrap Kings. We own it. All the big yards out there. Oh, we want yards all over the world. Up. I'm the Scrap King and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Literally, legally, nothing you can do about it. Ready? Ah, welcome back -o, to the Scrapper Dairo. What? The music? Too much. Can you hear me at all? Losing lots of rave, man. Let's go. So, welcome back. Right over here. Yeah, I'm looking at the lads. Welcome back to the Scrapo Kingo Dario. The other week, Will asked me, oh, Harry, why can't we strip some cable for camera? And I looked around the yard. There wasn't anything suitable to show you guys visually that I thought would be a good item to strip. There's lots of new faces around. I don't know who they are. Glenn! Yeah. How are you? How good? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, Are they yeah. still working brand new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Morning, How are you, Phil? You all right, Dave? I feel like I'm not getting going in the old EPO. Six weeks, Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, nobody's going. Huh? Nobody's going. What do you mean nobody's going? Does this cable machine work, Phil? Definitely works, Joe. Yeah. And it started again. What a bloke, man. So, what a bloke. I can use my knee. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's probably more efficient. Right, should we show the cable? Yes. Okay. Have, you, have we done an intro? I mean, kind of. You're a bit... Should I do another intro? You're a bit, like, rich today, a bit half bit what? You're a bit, like, rich today, a bit half-assed. I'm not half arse, I've just been f***ing distracted 75 times by 76 things. Right, welcome to... See? That's not my fault. There's no amount of effort I can put in to counteract noise. Where is Rich, by the way? Will asked me a week or so ago about uh, stripping cable and if we had the knee that was going to be like, well, worth stripping. At that time it was a no. However, today I've just brought in, and Will's going to put the animation on the screen, 1.74 tonne of quad low grade cable, which should be running at a plus 60% margin. Um, I'm going to strip it, film it, reweigh it, weigh the drive right afterwards, tell you what we paid for it, tell me what we've earned off it and find out whether that thick cable is worth stripping or not. Woohoo! Let's pop another. The first job, first job, there it is, there's the cable. We've got the cable stripper going. Uh, I've got a few bins around the cable stripper that need moving. I want space so I can actually blast it through. Uh, and I've got another lad there that's going to help me do it. Oh, and somebody's, one of the first comments to reply to this today was there's no money in alley cans. Well, what a ridiculous thing to say. There's no money in alley cans if you're buying 40 of them, because they weigh like, 400 grams. That whole roll-on weighed 1.42 tonne. The whole roll-on. So you are correct to earn money out of alley cans by collecting them on the street, in your van, in your car, saving them up, that sort of thing. Yeah, there is no money in. But commercially, buying them in, there is money. Come on, Joe, let's chatty chatty, more movie movie. And then what Will's gonna do for me now is, because he's now getting more involved in the channel, he's gonna put the time lapse on. We're both gonna strip it. Oh, God. <laughs> you didn't know that was coming, did you? Nope. Um, and then, what time is it now? It's 10 o'clock. We can only do an hour and a half's worth of stripping for now, because we've got to go and collect something very special afterwards. And you've got to fix something and show us something. Let's show you, show you something. Lots to show in There is a really busy time. day. Busy yeah. day, yeah. So, I'll get John on this. Bit of logistics, bit of B-roll, bit of cinematic footage, and then BOSH! Profit and loss. I'm actually excited to see what it comes out at. Go on, push it forward. Make sure you get it to the I think that's, as well. I think that's enough. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a go. Yeah. Right. You know, you Almost, one more time. Nice! Right, rubbish. 
Bosh. Unravel it. Go on, you take that one. Yeah. It's done it. Yeah. Pull this further forward for me. This is hitting the wall. Yeah, put it right to me so I can't put it in. You've oh. <laughs> done it or not? Don't be a f***ing spaz, eh? There you are. The angle there. How are you doing? Get off there. Try and, you know, communication, like. Oh, yeah, mate. That's it. Happy? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, damn. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Yeah, that's it. A bit closer, a bit sorry, Leo. Yeah, closer, my There we go. What a lovely. That was good to have finished. Right, Lee. There's no point in doing any more until that's all chopped up, chopped up to yeah. that, that, that length. What's wrong with this? Well, that was an excellent segment. Well, obviously, the whole segment isn't, isn't, isn't you know, finished yet. So we're right here now. So first step. Yeah, because I've introduced the cable, yeah? Yeah. So step one is making each piece more manageable by cutting them in half. You don't want the cable to be too long to go through the uh, cable stripper because it's easier for it to get jammed and stuff like that then. So we're gonna tip it there, cut each piece in half, put it back in the bin, and then it'll be a lot more efficient uh, processing going through the machine. You know what I mean? In the meantime, should we go and fix something? Yeah, in the meantime, I wanna get set John up on that, and then we gotta go and fix that thing. Hey, rapido! Put it, back, put it back inside here, mate, and then that's it then. Happy, yeah, good? Back in 10 minutes, yeah? Minnow, Minnow! Oh no, they're English, so I won't say it. Hello. English, hello. And Brian, wag one, man. Right, go on then, buddy. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to go and pick up hopes and dreams in six minutes. 1.1 mile away, there's a bloke called Dennis. And Mr. Dennis, has a wonderful thing for me that I am beyond excited to collect. Do you want to show us a new t-shirt? Oh yeah, oh yeah. What do you guys think of the new merch? Um, it's a bit dirty. Just let me just uh, roll my sleeves down because I rolled them up earlier because I was grafting. You know what I mean? So front logo, Bosch, Scrap Kings Birmingham should say Mr. 305 because we're international worldwide. And on the back it is new logo time, Bosch. How sick does that look on a tee? Very. There's no point mentioning or advertising them though, because you'll never have any to sell. It's just hard, honestly, mate. I need like somebody to help me do it. I'm on my own. You, you give all these ideas off, but you don't actually help at all in any way, shape, or form. You just say we need merch. Someone just had a crash. Uh, that's it. Ah, oh, look at her go! Ah, uh, is that Dennis? Oh, that's that geezer that weighs in. Oh no, no it's not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dennis. <laughs> yes! Never buy a car that's already running. Really? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, like, because you're meant to cold start it yourself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Dennis, how are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is a f***ing... <laughs> she's a goer, isn't she? I have two of them. Do you? Is, it, is, is she is she, f***ing... Is she good, yeah? Check it. Well, I've got no idea, mate. Hey, this is all on faith. This, oh, I thought you were going to say something like I just drove it back from like Spain or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me, mate. So we're going to take these. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. So it is like brand new, isn't it? Would you say it's second hand brand new? You know, <laughs> if you give me one of the Tesla, and you give me this, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go forever. Yes. So we're gonna so we're gonna take these through Germany. We have six. Take this to Germany. Yeah, yeah. This you know, is... you know, I speak German, you know. Do you? Oh, I lived in Germany for nine years. Did you? Yeah, yeah. No, we knew got so many daughters. Been everywhere. No, no. <laughs> My kids. I was married to a Dutch. I speak Dutch and German. Yeah. The Dutch is Netherlands, Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going. We go, so we're going to Amsterdam, Hamburg, Berlin, Prague. What's next? The engine is. This one, the engine is super, super nice. Yeah. yeah it's not oily, nothing at all. 
Ah, oh, that's definitely a micro engine. 100%. That's definitely a micro engine, that is. You have the original cat, everything on it, see? Nothing changed. Bang on. Nothing changed. The only time before the headlight was playing up, changed the, the clip. You know the clip here? What's it's that for? The headlight clip was playing up. Oh, we don't even need headlights. Headlights are for weak anyway. Okay, sound. So how much? Four fifty. No, I said five fifty. Oh come on! I thought I was gonna get here and like knock another fifty off. I'll be honest with you. That's what I thought I'd do. All right. Oh, what a guy, man! Dennis, you're the fucking man, man. I'll pay you now. I will do the lock book online. It comes to your address straight away. Your your um, straight away. If I do the lock book, it comes straight away to you. Two days. Yeah. I put stuff inside there. Yeah. It was, in, it was in the garage, but he put his car in the garage. I take this one out. Yeah, tell it. him. Just drop it down to me. Taroni's will scrap it. You know Taroni's very good. I am Taroni's. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I scrap things all the time. Yeah, good man. Yeah, Taroni's. All the time. That's right there. Yeah. yeah. So it's all here? Yes, mate. Double check it. One. I've just printed them, so it should be fine. <laughs> okay. Send me a photo of your driving license so I can just I put them. license. I don't need a license for this here look like DVLA. No, but not for you, but for the for the for the logbook. I just need the address, I don't need the license. Oh yeah, so what's that? Send, send me that over. We're not doing finance. Okay. We're not doing yeah. finance. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the never never. It's on the never never he said. Wait, wait, you're not doing finance, if you're doing finance. <laughs> then yeah. And he's left you a nice book of mushrooms. How much is it then? The, the all lucky nuts. I'm just giving him five hundred of the finest English pounds for it. Oh beautiful. Right. Has it got a Miltec exhaust? I, uh, RTF. Um, press it and you hear it then. Oh, yeah. She's a goer, mate. A G O E R. <laughs> right, send me your address and uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm going to put it anything now. Okay. I'll right, give it to my friend. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Dennis, lovely to meet you, mate. Okay. I'll see you soon. Yeah. If there's a problem, you know what I mean? Ha ha ha. This man, I can trust my life. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dennis, I'll see you soon, mate. Thank you. Come on. Oh, the handbrake's beautiful. The handbrake is beautiful. You couldn't write it, Will. You couldn't write it. While we were uh, collecting the lovely micro of Dennis, as you just saw, this one got weighed in, <laughs> and it's exactly the same. That one's a Micro S as well, and that one's a 1.6. I bet it's even the same model. It's just a complete joke. So I've got three Micros in this car park, all the same colour and all the same spec. <laughs> Did they uh, make Micros in another colour? Or? They are actually all exactly the same as well, it's mad. That's <laughs> a weird fetish. Oh, little fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Does that not make you really laugh, man? So, picture this. I mean, it's not for like another six months, which makes me a little bit sad, but I'm so excited about it that uh, that's it. These are all going to fly around Europa. Very excited. They're all very uniform as well, which I think is quite cool, because obviously everyone's going to paint them and do their own twists. Where the f is Andy now with the company? You can never finish a sentence. Me? Yeah. Um, I've got ADHD and my brain moves faster when I'm excited than my mouth can physically follow. I'm like a sentence ahead of myself. Uh, whenever I'm talking. Jamie's addicted to hot sauce and literally has one in his car. <laughs> I didn't realise it was that bad. <laughs> By the way, Jamie is the car boot king, if anyone doesn't know. <sighs> right. As you saw a couple of weeks ago, when I was loading the containers, I managed to break the uh, like the screen, basically. So what I need, Mark, really now, is to obviously fix that. I've got to have swim put over this then, haven't I? Yeah. Stop it happening again. Oh, amazing. So yeah, that was the only damage that was caused. Uh, we have a new console in. The scales work fine. There's nothing wrong with the machine. It's just that, that like, literally, just typically lifting the motor over, one fell off and just missed this protection cover and just hit the screen. Like, nothing you can do about it. We've got boxes going out in Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. Three days. Are you sure? Might one day. 
<laughs> and it's a gentle rotor. So we've got a compressor uh, box going out and then obviously I've got another 50 to the motors going out. There we go, look at that, beautiful. So first step, plastic on the outside off. Second step, take the armor off. And then because the whole thing is about setting the machine up for the correct size like wire, while it's going through the outside layer really well, we'll get all that off. I'll do all this next. And then last, we'll do this, the uh, actual single core stuff in the middle. Is it worth stripping? Well, I don't know yet. This is why we're doing it. Ah. Not know anymore. We don't know whether it's worth stripping. I'll be very transparent at the end and tell you guys what we have made or lost or broke even out of this cable. Bearing in mind it weighed 1.74 ton in total. What are you doing? Well, I'm gonna. Put You're gonna feed in. it. Yeah. What a bloke, man. I'm a feeder. Uh, make sure they don't put the thicker stuff through. Doing what? The thicker stuff. So that one's fine. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that too thick? Huh? Do you mean? You have to push it with it, Will. Right, hang on. Really push it through. Hang on. I got nothing left to push. <laughs> this is two weeks in a row that I got my hands dirty. I know, I can't believe it, mate. Come on. Oh, look, it's um, Matt. Everyone's asking about him. Everyone in the comments has been asking about you. Well, it's not you let me down like a cheek to the bricks, didn't you? Who? Should be on weekly, should I? Are you fucking ain't been anyway. Did it about three times? Yes! <laughs> so anyway, there we go. Matt is still about. Yeah, we had a, we had a comment saying, where's Matt gone? I'm here, aren't I? Yeah? Not yeah. now. I am now. I've had a, yeah, I've had a bit of a... My life's flipped upside down over the past three months or so. Um, but everything's back on track now. There we go. I've got a smile on my face. I've got a little bit of metal on. That's it. And it's all go, go, go. Fly the flag, man. Straight up. Busy? Yeah. yeah. Always. As always, yeah. Look, look, I've been moaning about queues in the last couple of episodes, but I'll always let Matt stray on the other bridge and all in. Yes. See you in a bit, mate. Cameraman's lost a bit of weight, I know. Or is that a new guy? That's a... <laughs> oh, nice. So, uh, so, uh, so the display works, but the protective cover's still cracked. That's annoying, isn't it? Why don't you turn the whole up? Now I'll turn it on. How do I turn it on? It works, man. Bang gun. Stand on that corner, Will. Perfect. 80 kilos. 0 0.8, yes. <laughs> that is fantastic. What happens is, if I'm we overlook... Got, huh? I'm glad I got to film some B-roll of it working. Well, you know, you got to be... Oh, 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 look, just get a camera. Just get your calculator up. This is what it said. Will got a stinger, but it was like... <laughs> that's, what, that's what it said. Is it? And then I pressed tear, and it went to... Zero. Ah, that's why I weigh nothing. Yeah. Yeah, happy? Like a feather. Um, loading the motors onto the box, it's very easy to overload it rather than underload it, really. As long as you put 27 grams on, they're like 800 kilos to 1,000 kilos per grab. You can't really go wrong. However, because the scales were broke on the last four, one of the boxes went out at like 28.4 tonne, which is over capacity of, not a legal limit of the road, but the box, like the container itself, they have a, a maximum load weight on it. And then, but it, yeah, so we had to take out like half a ton, which is a bit of a nightmare. So let's open, open the doors and throw it out. So that is fantastic, the scales work. I got you those. Waterproof ones. Nice! Yesterday, you saw we got all the top layer off. Today, it's basically uh, splitting the four core. So this is the, this is like, this is like the singles you get out of it. And it's just dry, bright wire with a very small plastic sheet fell in. Now you can do this with a standing blade. So if this is how it arrived yesterday, uh, a standing blade would be more than fast enough to go through that. However, we're gonna try and put it through the machine and just Right, lovely. So while Harry's f***ing about, we'll weigh up all this waste. You got it? 
We'll get rid of this wheel, just for him. 124, oh, 124 in there. Net. Yes. It's 15 quid, that is. Why the stale up wheel? Harry, 195, the first one. Net. Net, yes. Everything I tell you is just what it is. Yeah? So what's that then? That's almost 50 pounds. The what? It's almost 50 quid. Yeah, so that'll probably be similar. Get it weighed. And then you might as well just do that. Yeah, and then we're on the, 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 the nice bits then. So you've got to weigh all that, ain't you? Yeah. So I reckon 45 minutes done. You, it's only 45 minutes? Yeah. 45 minutes done. Okay. There's only 20 pieces in there now. will be here at 12. Why? See his face. Why? Why? My name's, Wait, is it? My, name's, my name's Lee and I'm a hater. No, no, no. My name's Lee and I'm a realist. But look at, look at, once you get that machine set up right, it's just like knife through butter, you know what I mean? Look at this, watch this. Ah! Watch this, watch. Another one done. Yeah, but these black ones are different to these yellow ones. So I'll do the black ones first, you know what I mean? <laughs> Go on, get your portly ready, because I'll have to do a bit of manoeuvring then. So I think up. I've got time to be, uh, I could have a cup of tea and f***ing break. By the time that, that, you do that, much. yeah? Should be 1,100 kilo. 1,100? Yeah, and drive right. Stay that's quite right. heavy, ain't it, man? Yeah. This is like the fun bit now, Lee. Lee, this is the fun bit. Now we've got it down to the final layer. Once this is off, it is just pure drive-o brighto. Where's the, I need, I need two bins and I one for waste, one for drive right. Don't worry about the waste, we'll put it on the floor. Why would you want to put it on the floor and then put it in a bin when we can just put it straight because into a bin? Because I can't be asked to go back on, on man, get, to go and get a bin. Get, there's an empty, is that empty? Once this is adjusted correctly... You tell he's a computer boy, can't you? <laughs> hey. All right then, let's, <laughs> let's hope it works. <laughs> yeah, no? Vamanos. There you go, Harry, look. Money. F***ing big, big money, man, let's go. So 403 minus 160 for the bin is like, what, 240. We're like a quarter of the way through, Will. What's your dry bright price today? <laughs> well, um, higher than what the market should be because I've booked something. So really good. Like, like if somebody brought in like a ton of dry brights, I could do like six fifteen. Yeah, six fifteen, six two. So if we base this on six pound twenty, that's yeah. what that bin comes to. One thousand six hundred and seventeen pounds. Okay. So what did I pay for that? cable i'll find the chat one second that bin cost me the cable cost me 1.74 ton and i paid three pound 40 a kilo for it because like i've said in previous videos although it isn't technically singles cable i.e one layer of plastic had multiple the copper percentage still runs at 65 percent which then puts it in the singles cable bracket so i paid three pound 40 on that which is a good singles price the cable runs at 65 percent so 1740 times 65 percent is 1131 kilos of dry bright which should be at 62 7012 pounds so i'm gonna pay for it so five nine so that's like 1,090 pounds profit, minus like the labor for the lads, a few hours. Like if you actually, if you actually sat there in a room with no distractions and just blasted it out, start to finish, it'd probably be like three hours, realistically, with a couple of you. So out of that thousand quid, take off another hundred or so, cut the Stanley base, 50 quid. So ideally with the machinery and the, the, the you know, your profit and things, you should be looking like taking a thousand quid out of that cable, which is fantastic, really. It's just labor intensive. Now we're, doing, we're, full, we're stripping it all for YouTube and trying to capture as much as it, much of it as we can. But the bottom line is, if you're getting 60% cable, it's worth stripping all day long. You haven't enjoyed actually doing some work, have you? No. It's not like hard, it's just long. Yeah. And like the, the, the bins of cable just never seem to go down. 
And like the first layer we took off, it was like nothing, and then all of a sudden the bin was empty. So like it's just, but like I say, it's just time consuming. Now we haven't, we don't really buy that much in. We don't focus on it. So our cable stripper has not been used for a while. So really need a service and some fresh blades. Like if, and even down to the runners that hold the cable in line, if that was a uh, hundred percent like strong and keeping the, ca that's how you make this such an easy job by just flowing it through. But you've got a rough blade and a rough machine at the end of the day, it needs hassles to, to come out and service it, which I'm going to organize now. But yeah, it's not bad really. So if you're like, Sparky or something, and you've got really good cable. All right, it's time consuming. You're not going to have a stripper to do it for you. A, it's still worth doing. So we had a comment about uh, where the what's it called? The dozer. The dozer. Well, it's a Atlas um, uh, Terex, sorry, front loader, and we cracked the hydraulic tank underneath. So it's being fixed. It's gone back to TDL. Uh, TDL have tried to fix it. They also, it also had a gear problem with the, uh, we bought it second hand, you see, so we never knew exactly what we were getting. The gear stick, all electric, that failed, so that's all a new one of those. And then they tried to re-weld the tank underneath. That I don't think has gone as well as they hoped, so we're having to order a new tank for it. So in the next 10 days, it should be back, because what we're finding is without that machine, it's taken us a lot longer at night to get the scrap from that side of the yard all the way down to the crusher end. Uh, it's taken us about half hour, which let's be honest, at five o'clock, the lads want to go home and this, that, the other. So with that machine, we can be a little bit more efficient and uh, get the scrap down so then the yard can be a lot tidier every day in the morning when the customers come. Because we're opening up at six and let the customers in around then. If the scrap isn't back, we have to get the crane drivers in, sweep it back, then start letting the vans in, but it puts us back like an hour. So with that machine, as daft as it sounds, you're spending all that money on it just to do one job, which is push the scrap down there. It's actually really, really beneficial. So we're excited to get it back. I hope that answers your question. Bosh! We have stripped the cable! Hey hey! Strippy cable's what we do! Come on, Lee, wait up! The penultimate Binio. That's what we've got here. We're gonna go find out exactly what the old weightio is. Hopefully the old calculations are correct. Well, uh, Lee, just please, less talky talky, more way way. I was just explaining to Will, because he's a Ferrari, uh, an F1 fan, isn't he? Yeah. Lewis Hamilton has now moved to Ferrari, and his wages are £100 million. Pounds. His wages. How about that? It's just phenomenal, isn't it? <laughs> that is, that is f***ing Harry's night out, isn't it? <laughs> I could do a lot of damage with 100 million quid, I'll be honest with you. 100 million quid? I'd probably die. You know, I'd probably end up dead. I'd go out yeah, like f f in, long, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go out in a fashion, though, I reckon. What happened with my funeral? Would be? I wonder if it'd be a vegan. What, one of those, like. In the street, carnivals, like. Because I don't want everyone to be sad. What, everyone's celebrating Harry's gun? Yeah, like, ce <laughs> celebrate me, man, you know what I mean? Let's go. All the yards were closed for a day. All the scrap yards shut for the day. We wouldn't, we to wouldn't honor me. for the day. No, Every not, scrap yard of the country would have to shut for the day. Not in mourning, in celebration. No, in mourning, well, yeah, they, they, the scrap yards would celebrate because I'm out of the picture. That means they've, they've got more chance of doing stuff because I'm the scrap king. And, actually, I haven't said this on camera yet, but last week we had the certificates back because we have legally trademarked the phrase scrap king and Scrap Kings, we own it. Yeah. Yeah. So if anybody out there decides to call themselves the Scrap King, bollocks, I could sue you. How f***ing jokes is that? <laughs> that is cool, man. That is so funny. <laughs> All the big yards out there, oh, we've got yards all over the world. <laughs> up. I'm the Scrap King and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Literally, legally, nothing you can do about it. And that is so funny. Look it up. Scrap Kings, TM, at Harry Taroni. You guys suck it. I'm the Scrap King. And Rich, and my dad. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Yeah. yeah, like the three wise men of scrap. That's what we. Should, that's what we should have called ourselves. What are we gonna copper, brass, and lead? That could have been like the subcategories. But anyway, yeah. Anyone out there? Oh, I'm the scrap man. king. No, you're not, mate. That's good that you bought the right. Not, for that. not by law. By law, I'm the scrapper king. Go. Simple as that. Have you got the certificates in the office? And it lasts forever. Huh? Put them up. Yeah, the obvious. I didn't even know these. I, I, I forgot to, obviously I wanted to say on the YouTube channel, but then I forgot and it's been like a week. Do so you know what they say? No. Murder on the dance floor. It's funny, it's that, when we're wearing scrap pins. We are f***ing legally scrap kings, man. So from now on, you must refer to me as the scrap king, and by law, that is correct. And there's f***ing all you can do about it. <laughs> Hang on, Lee. What is this one? 
Are they away that in his old role? No chance. Yelling, yeah. That's only Ali. When you Ali Hurry up. Oh, David, what do you want? It's the word, Scrap King. Okay, so I own it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you watch the match yesterday? No, I don't watch football. You don't watch, you don't read it. No, yeah. Don't like it. All right. I'll tell you what I do like, for David. I do love, I love fridge motors. Come on, man. Come on, Lee! 278 kilos minus the bin. Tip that, I'll then get the paperwork and then we'll do the figures. 28 kilos. Nice. Right. I did get my calculations wrong. Did you? I thought you may have. Why? You know why? Why? Just because it can never be really true to the fing point. I got it wrong by 15 kilos. That's still. 8 quid, 9 quid. So, we had 17.40. You're not interested in the steel. The steel came to like 40. 80. The steel came to £80 alone. Bearing in mind, I paid almost six grand for that cable. Did you? Uh, yeah. So, the dry bright total weight was 1,115 kilos, which yes. works out to like 63% or something like that. Well, yes. like, like 64%. So you, I was you, out by a percent. It was 2% out. So was, yeah, roughly, which I think yes. is quite good for a guess. Well, like a quick. Mathematician, -y. so we actually earned off it that. It might load. have been your phone's fault, though, Marnie. It might be a bit too fast. Too might fast. Put, for you might have put two man. instead of a Steve one. Steve Jobs made that Apple phone right and just didn't appreciate something like myself quick. using it. Yeah, I know, yeah. 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 RIP. See the new glass things you get? No. Not the, the, what are they called? Apple Vision or something? Apple Vision? Yeah, yeah, that's in it. No? You wear like a, a map, like, like ski goggles. That's in it. Oh. And you can look through it, yeah, so you can see everything. But then there's like screens so like you can interact and stuff. Well, where's the world gone, man? I don't know. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> so can what... it create dry bright for you? But if you ask the uh, AI to do it, it's AI. Like AI. To do it. Anyway, please, anyway, just... please let me look at dry bright. Um, I haven't minus costs off this. I.e. the Stanley blades. My blade uh, is the the wear and tear. Well, you ain't made much with my wages, then, have you? The cost of the roof. The electricity, diesel, well, I haven't took any of that off it, but net profit was exactly £1,000 and 20 pence. That's my wages, though. Minus all of the... So you've earned nothing? What, per hour? Yeah. <laughs> so, that, I mean, that is a really, really good deal. Good, yes. Uh, and it worked out quite well. And I think that even though it sounds a lot of money, by the time you took off all the costs of it, you know... 600 quid. Probably half, yeah, realistically. That's how you pay for everything that's been involved, the fort lift, the stripper, lads. But gloves, it's still making blades. money. Boss. It is, mate. And for the, it took us like four or five hours over two days because we got the sets of one of the things. I think it's still quite good. So if you had your own little unit somewhere and was stripping cable, if you had 65% stuff, definitely, definitely worth stripping. Um, or sell it to you. Or, or sell it to me and I'll do the stripping for you and take a cut out of it, which I have done. That included the uh, disposal cost for the waste as well. Yes. So you got to take that all that into consideration. But yeah, on a decent amount, which was like oh, just under two ton, it's a definitely worth doing. If you got under a kilo or so, it's whether you can roll with the time. The time's what the time is what's done it for us today. Very busy though, Edge. Just busy, and it took, busy, took a few hours. Can't so just concentrate on one thing. Uh, so yes. Yeah. Anyway, Lee, has, Will has got some comments for you to read. Ooh. <laughs> what? There's only one answer to this. What's the difference between HW Taronis and Taronis of Birmingham? <laughs> Same companies or not connected? No, they are totally, totally separate. Uh, one is my uncle's yard, and he predominantly focuses on car spares and uh, that sort of side of it. We don't have anything to do with him. Very separate. And yeah, just keep ourselves to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's political, that was one, that was good, that was. That was very calm of you. Very political, yeah. politically correct. Sir. I think you should come up with a prank on Richard. I'll come down, get him to do, get him to do me, start weighing. We've got 10 to 15 guys in the back. Pull onto the pole and one by one, see if they walk back out the yard. And then they get uh, like a load of van up with plenty ropes, noticing. No. If he doesn't, then, then you can him as to why he didn't see what was going on. That's how it's, that's how it is. Uh, I think a prank on Rich would be quite good though, but I don't know what to do. 
He doesn't watch you the gotta, channel, so you ain't gonna see this. Gotta make sure it isn't nothing too mad, unless you'll end up with a broken nose, right? Again. Again. Yeah, but I won't be involved, am I? I'll just be. Oh, yeah, because you're gonna one that's gonna be. We need to figure out. Oh, you guys, drop a comment if you're gonna have a more realistic idea. Because obviously, if, it's, if I was to do that prank, I'd have to get 20 votes to get in a van, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna try and think of a. It's a nice one for you. Personally, I think you've become my favourite YouTube channel. Hey! How you, how you aren't hitting the same amount of subs as Asheville is beyond me. I know, it's a shame, isn't it? No, you can't say that. That's raving. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. We do try. Uh, yeah, all the subs and likes do go towards it, so thank you very much. Don't this forget a, to like the video. This is a great one. What's that? There's no money in cans. And we already answered this one. We've already answered this one. But I said, like, yeah, if you've got 20 kilos, if you've got tons. Great video. Always look forward to it on a Sunday. Nice. Thank you very much. And I always look forward to you watching it. That is smooth. Good that was, not it? Smooth. Right, anyway, I think we're signing out now. So um, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. And if you've got anything else you want us to strip, look at, do, please drop a comment. Comments are really nice. Do more of them. And then Lee, if, you, if this video gets a thousand likes, Lee said he'll do the next episode completely naked. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to get in there. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, see you next week. <laughs>